we run a dairy farm, but uh, we are working in partnership with my uncle. And uh, our basic, uh, our core business is uh, dairy, that is milk, and also we are also doing some poultry. Uh, our farm is called uh, Tikit Davies. It stands on 10 acres of land. We have uh, 60 animals, that is uh, both the lactating ones and the cows. Uh, we have seven employees. We are able to do that the permanent employees. We pay them monthly. And uh, we have also we are able to engage the casuals when we need arises, especially when we're doing the silage, when we're doing the carrying of water and also the crushing. We are able to get some casuals from the community. I, I, op I only operate the farm uh, in and out, in and out, because I also work for the Anglican Development Services in Kakamega. But I have to make sure that the day-to-day -day running of the farm, it is the way it's supposed to be. Uh, so far, the farm has not uh, picked up so well. The, the money you're able to get, it's able to take care of the workers, it's able to at least buy the feeds. But you can't really say that uh, we are into business because of uh, one or two challenges. Especially when it comes to feeding, we realize uh, most of the income we get from the farm, we have to go for the concentrates, that is the daily meal. We also have to source out the contracted farmers to ensure that we have enough fodder for the silage. And also we have enough food that we'll be able to take us at least for six months. So we can't really say that uh, we have money left, but are we able to plow back on whatever we are getting from the farm. We are working on increasing on our stock to ensure that at least we add at least uh, 10 freshens. That leads us where in the next like uh, two or three years we are supposed to start the value addition. To, do the mala to do the yoga so that they will also to supply the chain supermarkets. Uh, we are looking forward to getting some resources uh, that we put up a biogas plant so that we are able to cut on the cost of using uh, maybe the electricity. At the same time, we are also looking at uh, building up a calf pen. We have not put up a calf pen, so you as you can see, we put up the material and we will be able, in the view course, we will be able to put a calf pen there. And then the third thing that uh, we are looking forward to do is now to start the value addition mm. and then we should have a coolant, we should have a pasteurizer and the machines for packing. Farming is a good thing and uh, we only need to do it to make it more attractive for the youth mm. so that they are able to know that when you doing farming, it's able to bring some income at the same time we just to change the mindset and look at it positively. Mm. Whichever level of the value chain you fit, but, uh, it really motivates. Mm -hmm. Training for the, the day with husbandry. Uh, I'm also looking forward, uh, this one GZ is holding for the dairy formulation where the farmer is able to make their own own dairy day at the farm rather than going to buy the consultants from the, the commercial or the shops, which is a bit expensive. So the trainings, especially on how to make the, 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 the dairy or uh, the poultry farming uh, more economical, uh, actually, I'm employed. I last year in March, when my contract ended with uh, the Anglican Development Services, I was able to run the farm from eight in the morning up to around six after the distributions have been done. But uh, when the contracts were reviewed in October, I had again to go back to the office. But I have to make sure at least I peek in. Is there still any need for external support here on this farm? Yeah, they still need uh, because uh, we are seeing we are using more money on fuel. So we are looking forward to, in case you get any support, we are able to put, put up a biogas plant. At the same time, the biogas plant will help us run all the machines. If we get a cooler, if we get a pasteurizer, and also just the milling, which is able to run even the generator to do the pump. So we still need the external support, especially in the areas to improve on the production in terms of the biogas plant and uh, also getting a cooler. So once a youth gets a viable business, it uh, really creates employment both for themselves and even the people around. Like for me, I've been able to at least provide employment for a few people, especially the contracted farmers who are doing the needs and uh, the contracted farmers who are doing pay. So it's really, it's possible for someone to get self-employed uh, as long as you change your mindset and uh, you know what you're doing and you know why you're doing it. Uh, do you enjoy self-employment or is it kind of a burden? Uh, it, it's not a burden, it's something you enjoy because one, you always give the direction to your enterprise. You always become more innovative and creative 
to see what is going to work and what is not going to work. So you really know where to adjust and where to improve.